Hello guys, welcome to the Define Agile YouTube channel where we talk all the things Agile, where we talk all the things Jira and just educating ourselves on this topic. And today I'm doing something that a lot of you guys ask for to start digging into Jira Service Desk. To, today we're going to do a quick overview of what it is and then I'm going to publish some more videos about this topic so you guys know how to set it up and what to do with it. But right now, the first one, we'll just do a quick introduction, what it is and where it is and why do we need it. So I have my Jira here. And uh, the first thing that people might ask, what, how do I get to Jira Service Desk? What is it? Jira Service Desk is a separate product for Atlassian that allows you to communicate with your external customers so they can submit their issues and you can work on them. Because usually Jira is pretty internal, it's for your teams, you invite people and then those people work on the projects. But what about if you have um, a support team and then you have a pro product or project that people can create support tickets to. So this is what Jira Support Desk is for. And since it's a separate project, you need to pay separately and you need to uh, get it separately. So to do that, if you have Jira Cloud, you go to this, um, I don't know how many dots, uh, three to three, nine dots, switch to, and then you will have something like Jira Support Desk, try it now, you click on it, and I think if it's up to free users, it is for free. So you can try it completely free, which is good. So click try it now and uh, just try it. So the next step is just let's click on it and see what it is. So we are now in a Jira service desk. You don't see any other projects. It's just Jira service desk projects. And then they give you a demo project. So Jira service desk allows you to create projects like a regular Jira. Let's say I have multiple clients. You can have a project for uh, all those clients. Let's click on the demo project and see what it is. You see, it is very much like the regular Jira. So some of the things I like about them that they keep consistent UI. So for example, you have the main menu on the left and then you have everything you can act on on the right. But the actual menu items are totally different. And uh, that's why you have a separate tool to do this. So you can have queues, um, queues will be where you can see everything that you need to work on. You have customers. This is where you can invite your customers, internal customers to the organization so they can act on it because it can be done uh, several ways. It can be done, you can submit tickets for a portal, but you can also have customers come and log into Jira and uh, then they have more features. We're gonna talk about this later. Then you have reports. And those are totally different reports. We don't have burn down charts or any other Kanban charts, cumulative diagrams, we don't have that. We have workload, we have satisfaction, requests deflected, requests resolved. So it's very customer support centric. We're gonna talk about all those later as well. Right now we're just doing an overview. Uh, you can raise a request. And when you click on raise the requests, you are getting into the thing called customer portal. So this is where customers can go and raise requests. You might have seen those in many, many companies, especially like if you have something to do with uh, hostings or domains, you would have something like this. Or the big companies that have uh, a lot of knowledge based things where you can look for something, but it also can raise a ticket. So this will be very, very similar. You can customize all of this and we will look uh, we'll look at how to customize it later as well. But right now we know that, okay, this is how I raise a request. Let's go back. And then there is a thing called knowledge base. A knowledge base is a really, really amazing feature where you can keep all your documentation related to the particular project. So people are trying to uh, submit a request, they might get an article and saying, don't submit a request because we have this article here. I'll show you how to do it later as well. But this is where you can create a knowledge base articles. Then you have a channels. And channel is how you can submit those things. You can do it via email, via help center. And help center is essentially this or you can do it via widget, which is turned off. And we're gonna look at those later as well. 
then you can invite people in your team and when I say people, those are agents, there are people who are actively resolving those things. So customers are people who are raising requests. Uh, agents are people who are working on those requests. You can add shortcuts and go to project settings. So essentially, uh, Jira Service Desk allows you to um, create this type of portal for people to, um, uh, to put in support tickets in and then your team can work on those tickets. Of course, there are a lot of complexities. You can create workflows, you create different tickets types, you can customize everything. So there's a lot here to uncover and we will be uncovering it um, with, I'll be uncovering it with you now. Uh, so uh, future videos will be related to this. Hopefully it will be useful. If you have any particular things you want to know about Jira Service Desk, uh, please put them in the comments down below. This is how you can steer the conversation. If you ask me questions, I'll create videos about it um, and I'll prioritize them because this is important for you. So hopefully it helps. This was uh, the first Jira Service Desk video um, and I really enjoy doing it for you guys. And please, if you like this, if you think this brings you value, please first subscribe and second like this because if you do it, it gets to more people. I'm more motivated to do those and uh, I'm just more happier because people are supporting me. So this is the way to support me. Subscribe and like. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.